So here's the Moomoo desktop dashboard. This is the Moomoo NX version. There is a regular desktop version that has more tabs on the left hand side here. This is my iMac view. So if you have a PC, it might be a little bit different. I'm not entirely sure, but you have to add a watch list, a symbol here. It's quite easy. You just go ahead and add to a watch list and all the symbols that you have here and even create a new watch list. Also, once you have the stock up, you're going to go to technical indicators tab. And these are all the different types of indicators. They go from trends, strength, price volume, pressure support, other and then a customized one that you can code. So this is what it looks like. These ones with the star is what Moomoo recommends to use. So what I have done is literally I went through each one of these and you can click on it to see what it looks like. So if I click off um, or on, you know, how that affects. I don't like a busy chart. So uh, I just wanted to show you the moving average as an example. If you click that wheel tab right here, this little wheel, um, it's going to open up the style. You can change the color. I recommend a different color that's already on the screen and you can change the opacity of it as well. And then the parameters here, if you are an advanced trader, then definitely play around to see what settings is best. And here we have an introduction that actually explains what the moving average is, the formula, the parameters, the takeaway, entry signals, exit signals, etc. Unfortunately, I don't really use this one right now. I know a lot of traders do, so I'm going to take that off. Also, I didn't really find value in the Bollinger Bands. Like I said, I like it quite simple. So the ones that I chose after going literally on each one of these and reading all about the indicator is I chose the EMA, Exponential Moving Average, and I didn't really change any of these settings. I did test some of these out, um, and I might switch it later, but as of today, this is what... This is the only one I selected at the moment and then left the parameters alone. And then it tells you that the exponential moving average is a technical indicator used to smooth price data into a continuously updated average price to analyze uptrends and downtrends. And then it has the entry signals here and the exit signals here. All right, so that's the EMA. And I also chose the SAR parabolic stop and reverse signal. So that's what that looks like right here. I like to see it um, just sort of a, as an indicator that, hey, it's about to change. See this first one, I'm gonna zoom in here. Like this one is changing color, right? From gray to that color green. Uh, I'll show you a different example. So right here, gray to red, gray to green. So when I see this indicator, it's kind of like a heads up. It's about to change direction. Um, and so I, I kind of like it in the background. I did actually change a little bit of the settings of the colors and uh, the opacity of that and how thick. You can change the thickness of each line as well. And then the last indicator that I have right here is a volume weighted average. So that's what that looks like if I turn it on and off. And if we go inside the style, there's only one, but this is what I was referring to that you can change how thick it is. Um, if you wanted to, I, <laughs> I just kind of want to blend it in the background there. There is no parameters to change. And the reason why I chose this is that this indicator combines price and volume to assess a stock's average price with a specific period. Now, these might change over time as I become a more confident and profitable trader. And then also, I think I have this volume bar right here. This is the volume. And it kind of, it's just at a glance of, you know, how many people bought during this period of time and how many people sold during this period of time. And also the MACD moving average is the one that you see right here. So this is the one in the center and it has the moving average. And the reason why I chose this one I didn't change the parameters. These are default and it has um, 
The indicator identifies momentum levels and eliminates false signals in moving averages. And that was really important because sometimes you get you get a buy signal or sell signal and it's like a fake out where <laughs> you know you're looking for a long upward trend and it's just it's one of these and I definitely don't want one of those to happen again. Okay, so I hope that setting up this indicator it, tutorial, it was helpful. Comment below which ones are your favorite settings, which one did you decide to add? But literally, I went in every single one and I applied it to this chart to see, you know, which ones made the most sense to me. I do like things very simple. Uh, the more simple, the better they are. And I hope that this was helpful. If you are thinking about using Moomoo, I also use the app, especially when I'm traveling or not in front of my desktop computer. If you could do me a favor and use my link below because it's a referral link and I get a small kickback if you sign up with my account and you're also receiving the free stocks, I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. Talk to you soon. Bye.